Uh, what I'm going to do is, you guys saw yesterday this old light up. So, I'll fire this puppy up. And today it's going to be already. Quincy, can you kick the lights off in the back? Okay. All right, you can see the light bulbs lighting up. Now, let's think about this. Um, where do those charges really, really want to go? Off the Van Graaff. Off the Van Graaff and ideally to the ground. What I'm giving them the opportunity to do, they start on top of the Van Graaff and some of them disperse off into the air, but they go into the light bulb through my hand down to the ground, okay? So they're actually traveling through the light bulb. What do we call moving charges? Well, electrons, and electrons make up, use the first part of the word, electricity. What I'm actually doing is it's actually running electricity through that light bulb. And I'll actually light up. Now, what was that? I don't know. Uh, this, this, it tingles a little bit. I especially feel it right here, the nerve. It's, it's not painful, it feels really, really weird. If anybody wants to try, come on, be sure to jump back in front and drop it. Okay, what, I, what I'm gonna say, two things, first off, you come up, do not grab onto it at the metal end. Okay? You get a good wham bam shabam. Uh, yeah, I caught it off this. Also, keep the metal end a little bit away from your arm. The idea is this is the easiest spot for the chart for the charges to travel. Okay? But if you hold and last but not least, hold on to it pretty tight. That A helps you so you don't drop it, and B also makes a good contact point. So bring it nice and close. <laughs> Touch it. Cut. What? Do you feel anything? Look at her hand. Look at her hand. Oh, my hand's glowing. Well, that's where the charges are leaving pretty easily. So. Now, it really doesn't hurt, but you get a little bit of a tingle. Closer. What do you feel with the light bulb? It actually, when I do it, it the light bulb actually pulls close. Yeah, you can bring it just a little closer. Oh, that was working. My hair sticking up because it feels. Nope. What her hair stick up? Is it wanting to go? No, it doesn't want to go. It wants to go down. Somebody else? Yes. Here, just if you want, just come around over. Come around through the back. Good. Really, Shmuel? Yeah, Shmuel. Wait, what was your homework? Yeah, you want to do I would probably do it. Now it sways. When I bring this close, it actually pulls. You'll, ooh, woo, that was a fun one through the foot. You'll actually feel it pulls in and pushes out. Pulls in, and pushes out. This starts pretty neutral, and then it's coming close to a charge, so it's constantly polarizing. Not, I'm not moving that back and forth. That's actually the force. Back and forth. So cool. Just hold on to it, don't drop it. Yeah. 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 What are the charges going to do? Well, they want to go to the other metal. Touch the metal. No. Touch the metal. 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 Touch the metal
from the band graph to your hand. If you make good contact with it, for the most part, you won't feel... <laughs> All done? Uh-oh. All right. General idea here, it's exact. There's nothing new with the Vandegraaff. Um, it's just kind of a cool application of it. We have the Vandegraaff. Which gets this negative charge. When I outstretch... The light bulb. Electrons jump through. So you saw that spark flow through and down and to the ground. Here we have flowing electrons, and that's equal to electricity. You actually have electrons flowing through the light bulb. And that's the same exact thing as what electricity is. 